here we go again. The story about the Acolyte being canceled after one season on Disney Plus, it just keeps going and going and going and going. It seems like this is never going to end. This, we're going on two weeks now since the announcement was made that the Acolyte was not going to see a season two. So before I jump into that, folks, just want to take the time to thank each and every one of you, the 18,000 plus of you that have subscribed to the channel. Thanks for coming back, viewing my videos, viewing my content. If you're new here, this is your first time. Before you leave, leave a comment down below. Give the video a like, and if you like what I'm doing, like what I have to say, give me a subscribe. I appreciate everybody that takes the time out of their day to watch my content. So here we go. This dropped over the weekend. Uh, in fact, it dropped yesterday from Paul Tassi over at uh, Forbes. Forbes of all places. A glimmer of hope for the Acolyte season two. A glimmer of hope. Let's dive into the article. The Acolyte continues to be one of the most significant sagas of the Disney Star Wars era, given the sheer push and pull of fans, detractors of the show. Plus, Disney spending insane amounts of money, upwards of $200 million, on it compared to the viewership it would ever possibly draw. Remember, the viewership for the show after the first two episodes dropped plummeted. And I've said it before. If the show's not getting the viewership, a good business decision is to cancel that show. Now, there have been some exceptions to that. I can think of NCIS season one and two were, you know, middle of the pack, according to the Nielsen ratings. But it gained steam, gained its legs in uh, season three, and now we're talking about season 22. So it, it can happen. It has happened. But it's happened on a major network. It hasn't happened on a streaming platform. There's a difference. It was canceled after season one, but now there may be at least some small glimmer of hope for season two. Despite Disney speaking to various media outlets about the Acolyte being canceled thanks to a lack of viewership, its cast has been vocal about the harassment from toxic fans. Yes, those toxic fans that know that the show is not Star Wars. This isn't part of George Lucas's vision. This was this was a this was a uh, um, fan fiction, for lack of a better term. They believe we're being rewarded by killing off the show. Yeah, we're 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 being rewarded for killing off the show. I guess I'm one of those toxic fans. I've say it again. Business wise, it makes no sense for this show to continue. Now, as a content creator, bring it on. I'd love for him to do a season two. Look what's happening to season two of Rings of Power right now. It's getting roasted. And deservedly so. Just like the Acolyte was roasted in season one, it was deservedly roasted. It would be again if there was a season two. And while it may indeed be a cost versus viewership decision, I'm not entirely convinced the show's death is set in stone. Really? The new evidence is from the stranger himself, Manny Jacinto, who appears to not be giving up hope courtesy of a few quotes from Dragon Con this past week. In one clip, he's asked about one thing he wants to achieve before he dies, and he says, so much applause, season two of the Acolyte. Now, I'm sorry. One thing that you want to achieve before you die is to start in season two of the Acolyte. You want to talk about um, sucking up to the room. <laughs> that, my friends, that is what you call a cheap pop. A little wrestling term there, as opposed to cheap heat. He read the room. He knew there was a bunch of Star Wars fans in there. 
probably more specifically fans of the acolyte and so to get the cheap pop of course he's gonna say before i die i want to star in season two of the acolyte yeah This joins an earlier quote that does not have an attached video where Jaquinto reportedly told a fan they were still fighting for the show, indicating there still may be some talks behind the scenes about bringing it back in some form or another. The public video certainly lends credence to the idea that yes, this quote is real. The Acolyte would not be the first show to be uncanceled, but it remains a tall order given that viewership was low and the cost was high. Exactly. I mean, the, the most recent... Um, the most recent example I can give of a show being canceled and then brought back is Magnum PI, the reboot that was on CBS for four seasons canceled. NBC decided to pick it up and it was on for two more seasons, but that show did a decent viewership. Part of the reason why Magnum PI was canceled was because it was filmed in Hawaii, awfully exp expensive to film in Hawaii. Just like NCIS Hawaii was canceled after three seasons. It's awfully expensive to film in Hawaii. Even though everything was already there still from when Hawaii Five-0 was on CBS. That, was, that lasted 10 seasons. I've previously, chi previously chimed in about all this with the idea that Disney does not need to spend a stupid amount of money on the Acolyte Season 2 like they did with Season 1. That reportedly cost $180 million. I think it was upwards of 200 million, but what's 20 million here or there? And feature things like unnecessary CGI space battles, when the best moments of the season were just two characters talking to each other, or at its priciest, an extremely cool lightsaber fight in the jungle. Yeah, the lightsaber fight where you didn't see half of it because it was hidden by the jungle. <laughs> And no, it was not an extremely cool lightsaber fight. It was mediocre at best. The idea is if season two can work with a much smaller budget, maybe this can still happen. There's also this idea that would be a symbolic statement to toxic fans who have celebrated the series death, like Ewoks banging on Stormtrooper helmets. It would A, push back on the worst part of the Star Wars fandom by removing a quote-unquote win, Again, voicing your opinion because you see what's in front of you that this series was nothing more than a checking a bunch of boxes off the DEI scale. It, the story was not compelling. The character development was bad. The pacing was bad. The acting was bad. But yet pointing that out makes you tox a toxic fan. Wow. And B, open the door to more non-Skywalker High Republic projects instead of killing the very first one. But Disney is not your friend. No, Disney is not your friend. They're not. They are a corporate entity that will very much look at the profit loss above all else, as they should. That's what a business does. I agree with you, Paul, that Disney's not your friend. They're not. It's not impossible, but I think the many quotes are at least a mildly good sign, but it's certainly not a reversal at this point. See, what people are doing here is they're, 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 they're parsing comments. They're trying to get any indication to make them feel good so they can feel represented in Star Wars again. I mean, just look at the comments here on this. This is great. Now this one from Dakota V, this one's actually, I, I like this comment and lays out a very good case. As someone who defended the show in the beginning and someone with zero issues seeing a diverse cast, which I don't mind a diverse cast as long as it's something that has occurred naturally within the story. This whole thing about Star Wars was never diverse is, is total BS. From the get go, then you don't understand Star Wars. And someone who desperately wants Star Wars to move away from the original six movies and do something actually new, I don't think the Acolyte deserves a second season. 
It just honestly was not very well written. In the end, I feel like a lot of its themes, messages, or whatever fall completely flat. The Jedi are not, say, the Catholic Church, so attempting an illusion between the two falls apart and even the barest of comparisons. Likewise, dark side users are not misunderstood minorities. They are murderous sociopathic control freaks who want to dominate everyone around them. Plus, to be honest, the morality of the show is at its best kind of disturbing after having listened, read interviews given by the creator after the fact. Wow. Very thoughtful. Good, good comment there, Dakota V, whoever you are. You, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, nobody wants it. Is this article a joke? An actor says season two's on his bucket list? So what? Uh, would you people give it up already? People do not want this woke agenda garbage anymore. The majority are speaking up and are sick of it. And the majority are supposedly toxic fans. It's not going to happen. No thanks. Disney needs to save the money and Lucasfilm needs to save the lore. Yeah. I mean, there you go. There you have it. You still have the petition out there to renew the Acolyte. It's up to 65,000 signatures plus. Uh, you have another petition to decanonize the Acolyte, which means take it out of Star Wars canon and make it an independent project. Okay, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. I could get on to, I can get, I could agree with something like that. Decanonize it. Turn, turn it into its own individual con project that has nothing to do with Star Wars lore. Go for it. So there you go. The people are still the minority of people, I should say. At least that's what I think. They're the minority. They're still hanging on. They're, 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 they're grasping at straws. They're looking at every comment. They're looking at every, every social media post saying, oh yes, there's hope we're going to get a season two. You're not. You're not. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. You think we're going to get a season two or are you just tired of hearing about the Acolyte? I mean, I thought I was done making Acolyte videos, but here we are again. Um, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. And with that, I will see you guys later.